Consideration of design is necessary in the creating of any kind of artwork. The fundamentals of design are easy to recognize and learn. Here our stubby pencil friend is going fishing. And the fish he hopes to catch looks similar to this drawing of a fish. It's beautiful, but very complicated. The designer knows that the same beauty may be obtained in a more simple, basic shape. In using basic shapes, the artist must apply his ability to select good relationships. Through practice, he becomes aware of the many versatile uses of shapes. This circle is a basic shape, but so are the variations of the circle. We call these a family of shapes. Stubby pencil will make fish out of these simple shapes with the addition of a few well-placed lines. The triangle is very useful in drawing certain forms. Remember that in designing, it's most important to get the idea across clearly and with simplicity. There is no attempt to imitate nature. These elongated triangles can very easily look like trees. We know that they are not like real trees, but by using suggestive lines for design, the triangles can be turned into pine trees. The combining of basic shapes opens a whole new range of possibilities. It's well to keep these combinations simple and related. Your own feeling will have to serve you when you combine and place the shapes you choose for your design. Here are three entirely different shapes selected from the original three basic shapes. A triangle, a rectangle derived from the square, and an oval from the circle. Placed together, they can form a variety of things. Here with the addition of some smaller circles, half circles, and lines, the combined basic shapes become a design of a clown. A more closely related group of shapes may be combined with great success and unity. In this case, some circles, half circles, and straight lines form a designed landscape. It isn't necessary for designs to always represent a specific object. A composition of shapes may be interesting and beautiful just in itself. Imagination and design applied to non-objective painting can give us a fresh and vigorous work of art. Repeating shapes establishes a rhythmic pattern. A single shape or form on a background becomes the center of interest. But when the same form is repeated over and over again in a definite pattern, the overall effect of the pattern itself captures our attention. No longer is the viewer so closely aware of the individual forms. For this reason, the design pattern may be viewed successfully from almost any angle.
You may use this approach in the designing of wallpaper, textiles, and other similar objects. Alternating the color and the size of a single basic shape can also turn your work of designs into an exciting composition. It's this kind of simplicity that is the keynote of all great abstract painting. The most challenging aspect of design comes under this heading. The designer must make decisions on his own. He must be inventive and uninhibited in order to do this. Here is a careful and studied drawing of an eye. It's a complex and realistic rendering of an actual eye. In designing, you may take great liberties. Much more simplified forms are just as effective when well planned. This design is very easily recognized as an eye and would be more so when placed in a face. The eye was designed so simply yet so effectively that it may be used either in a profile or in a front or three-quarter view. This same method has been used for centuries in many forms of Eastern painting. Complicated forms like heads or hands may again be simplified by the designer reducing them to basic essentials, attempting always to keep the work clear and strong. Often a kind of contour drawing is used, and depending upon the ability of the designer, his invention may be very unique and interesting. Notice in these pictures how the hair arrangement becomes an importantly emphasized factor in the eventual drawing. It's important that we observe and learn everything possible about the subject of our design, for simplicity is only the product of much information and close observation. For instance, the skeleton of a horse can be the basis for designing a horse. And the resulting simplified design of the horse will depend only upon what we know of the animal. We know factually that the contour line of a live horse is complicated and highly active. We may want a long, smooth, continual line for our design. The line of the back may be simplified so that the long sweep of the back may be emphasized. This line is pure and beautiful. All other features are greatly reduced to show the basic shape off to advantage. In this instance, we chose to underplay the head. The legs become just two lines and a small circle. All other parts support rather than compete with the large central shape of the torso of the horse. Your own design would perhaps be vastly different. The linear elements of design may be practiced quite effectively in a drawing with a background of color masses. Just a few lines and triangular shapes bring to life a seascape. Here we have a simple line drawing, enriched by a patterned background. Even lettering needs the designer's imagination and studied technique to take it out of the ordinary and develop it into something exciting and interesting. Used with initiative and imagination and guided by your own intuition, design can be the most important single part of your development as an artist in any field. It's the understructure of all the graphic arts. Pure and purposeful design gives pleasure to the eyes, while the designer's imagination serves to stimulate the imagination of the viewer and thus extend his vision.